Welcome back everybody. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at a frauditor who is whining because he had to spend 60 days in jail. So what happened is that he was cop watching while he had an active warrant, and that's not the great idea, obviously. And then he got caught, the next day he turned himself into the jail, and here he is, 60 days later, crying about the whole situation. With that being said, enjoy the video. For those who aren't familiar with this productive member of society, this is a young city. So basically, he's a frauditor like every other. He doesn't make much sense, you know, has no purpose, just harasses people. But the difference with him is that he is very hard to understand. You'll understand what I mean in just a second. Boy, what's going on? Rob E, what's up, man? I'm back, y'all. <laughs> they, they had me sit down for two months. Two, two, two little months, you feel me? Yeah. I'm back, though. They thought they, I don't know what they thought they were going to do. They, they were going to give me life or something. So right off the bat, he's playing the victim, saying, oh, they thought they were going to give me life or something. Now, I don't know what he was charged with, but obviously, frauditor crimes, they don't usually do much time, usually trespassing and other crimes like that. So this guy is just playing the victim, saying, oh, they're like persecuting him. They're trying to give him a life. This is just a typical frauditor playing the victim. I was locked up in Baltimore County again for the same charge that I did 30 days back in May for. For trespassing. Hold up. Trespass from, from a public agency. And they, and they tried to slip another little charge in there. Failure to, to disobey a, a, a law officer. You really can't make this shit up. This guy said he got charged for failure to disobey a law officer. That means that you did obey the law officer. <laughs> oh my God. This guy really needs to go back to high school. Yeah, it's charged, man. Y'all want to know the crazy part about it, though? <laughs> when they locked me up, I was doing the video, right? Man, they, they petty than petty. I was doing the video out here in St. Mary's County. Of this little drunk girl. Y'all have seen her uh, y'all have seen her a couple of times in my video before. She always started stuff with people, right? So I don't know if somebody punched her in her mouth or what, but her lip was bleeding. So the police telling her that she's trespassed from the property. And she need she need to go stand on the sidewalk. So they they telling her this about 15 times, y'all. I, I got it recorded on on uh probably about two videos ago. They telling her she trespassed from the property. She need to get on the property, go stand on the sidewalk. She flip it. She flip it. Oh, I don't want I don't want to be on YouTube. I don't want to go viral. <laughs> So he's laughing here, but I really don't find it funny because I know exactly what video he was talking about and she was having some type of a mental health issue. She just got assaulted and then he was just recording her, harassing her. And yeah, it was a really disgusting video, but here he is laughing about it. <laughs> I don't want to go viral. I don't want to be on YouTube. So she run in front of the camera, right? She run in front of the camera. So it went from them telling telling her that she trespassed and she need to get off the property to them coming up to me, oh, Javon, you got a warrant through MSP. We need you to turn around, put your hands behind your back, this, that, and the third. I'm like, man, hold on. I'm like, hold on. They like, nah, ain't no hold on. The warrant is already confirmed, right? They telling me that the warrant is already confirmed. So they had a uh, good morning call, hood. They had a uh, 
a, a Merle State police to come pick me up from the location I was at that was in front of the Canopy Liquor Store. Everybody that know about St. Mary's County, Lexington Park. Came the the uh the the state trooper came and picked me up from the Canopy Liquor Store, right? It took him 40 minutes. He take me down there to the barracks to get the paperwork and the warrant that I had, right? So so now he's rambling on a bit, but I just want to point out, look what we see here on the left. Yes, that's right, a baby seat, because this guy actually has a brand new baby. In all seriousness, what kind of parent is this guy going to be? What is he going to be able to teach to his kid? Look at him. He can't even keep himself out of jail. He frauded while he has active warrants. I really hope his baby won't be another kid that grows up in the system because of parents like this. You know what I'm saying? He came and got me, right? Took me all the way to Baltimore County. Do, I just seen a dude in there. Remind y'all, this is a county jail, right? This is a county jail. Baltimore County Jail is f up, right? It's filled with a whole bunch of African COs that ain't worth S-H-I-T. Right? Filled up with a whole bunch of African CEOs. This is a county jail, but the thing that's going on in prison is happening in the county jail. <laughs> I ain't lying. I just seen a dude get stabbed. Dude get stabbed by uh he got into it with some white dude. The dude was a Muslim. He got stabbed up. Cut damn near half his nose off, y'all. Poked him up in the chest, his stomach, and his back. Like, he got stabbed over eight times. So, basically, he's saying that the Baltimore County Jail is not fun and that there is violence. Well, it's a jail. What do you expect? It's not supposed to be a five-star hotel. I guess he heard about the dude getting stabbed, right? So, they bring, they bring clean and surprise... So you could clean up the unit, clean up your cell or whatever. You feel me? It's a metal mop. Like the mop got a metal handle and all that, right? He takes the mop into his cell and try to break a piece. He broke a piece of the metal off the mop so he could make a knife. You feel me? <laughs> so he could make a knife. Later on that day, they come get the uh, mop and all the cleaning supplies. Then they come back. We out for rat, you feel me? We using the phones. Well, I was on the phone. The CEO like, y'all got to lock it in. Lock it in. So we sitting there like, lock it in for what? You feel me? Like, lock it in for what? Like, we just got off a of, uh, lockdown a couple of days ago. Now we about to be, you talking about lock it down, lock in. So everybody bucking like, for what? So the sergeant coming in like, oh, well, we, we missing a piece of metal from one of the mops. So, you know, we're going to have to do, we're going to have to do a shakedown or we're going to have to search y'all, right? So this is what they do. This guy is just something else. On one hand, he's complaining that inmates are getting stabbed. And on the other hand, he's complaining to have to go to lockdown when metal pieces that could be made into shanks are missing. So what is it? Do you care about the inmate getting stabbed or not? Because you're not making any sense right now. It was 20 sales. Each sale got uh two bunks in it. You feel me? So that's... 40 people, yeah, 40 people, right? So they do that, lock everybody down, you know what I'm saying? Niggas, niggas in that joint flushing stuff down the toilet and all that. They come get you out your cell, they take you in the shower, they take one person in the shower, then they take, they, they leave the other person in the, in the cell, make you strip search, drop your damn clothes, they want, they want, they want you to bend over and cough, right? Remind me, these are all African COs. Then they take you to the visitation joint. This, it's, a, it's another sergeant over there. They asking you, "Hey, do you feel safe on the unit? Like, is anybody threatening you or this, that, or third?" 
course ain't nobody gonna say, yeah, no, I don't feel safe. You feel me? So everybody, nah, nah I'm good. You know what I'm saying? With the woo, they take you back to the cell, lock you down, right? We we on lockdown for another three, four days, right? Again, we get off a of lockdown, whatever. A week later, it's like every week for five weeks. Every week for five weeks, we was on lockdown. The second week was. Well, the third week we was on lockdown is because they try to say another mop was missing, y'all. So we was on lockdown for another three to four days, right? We on lockdown another three to four days, right? And can't nobody get no commissary. We supposed to be taking walks. You know what I'm saying? Like East Cell supposed to take a walk for an hour or have rec time for an hour by themselves. So nobody was not doing that. Nobody was taking shower with nothing, dog. It was messed up. Right? I had a pain crisis in that drink, right? So we was off a lockdown by this time. I, was, I had a pain crisis. You feel me? So now he's saying he's having a pain crisis, which is kind of like the injured shoulder, the dislocated back when the frauditors get arrested. So I'm in that joint. I wake up. I'm in pain. I go to the CO like, hey, can I go? You know what I'm saying? Like, can I go to the, uh, can I go to medical? I have sickle cell. I'm having a pain crisis. I need to go see medical. It's an African CEO, y'all. Like, this wench is the devil. I asked her, can I go to the uh, the medical? She said no. Remind you, she behind the glass and the wall. It's called a bubble. So I went and wrote it on a, a piece of paper. I need to go to medical. So I put it up against the paper like this. She look at it. No. Face, face squirreled up. She telling me to lock in, right? I'm like, no. I'm not locking in. So I sat on the... I sat on the table in the day room from 9.30 to 6 in the morning, right? Listen, y'all, this how, is this how crazy it is. Two COs come in to do count, right? They come in and do count. They ask me, they're like, why you why you out here? Like, why you? I'm like, man, I asked this lady, can I go to medical? She ain't trying to call medical for me. So they like, what's wrong? They they these black, uh, these black Americans, they like, what's wrong? I'm like, look, I got sickle cell. I'm having a pain crisis. I asked her, can I go to medical? She ain't trying to take me to medical. So they, they tell her, like, they getting on her. Like, he need to go to medical. Like, call medical so he could go to medical. They come in, do count. They bounce, right? About an hour later, the sergeant come in to check the mailbox. So he come in and check the mailbox. He like, hey, man, he see me sitting on the table. He like, hey man, remind you, everybody else locked in. Everybody else in their cells. My celly here in the cell and all that. So he like, hey man, like what's going on? I'm like, man, I got sickle cell. I've been asking the CO, can she, you know what I'm saying, call medical for me? She told me no. She ain't trying to call medical for me. So he like, oh man, I'll take you down to medical. He said, uh, I just gotta get the uh the all the, the mail and stuff out of the out of the boxes, then I come back and get you to take you to medical. So I'm like, all right, cool. You feel me? Okay, guys, I want to do a poll over here. Let me know who you think sounds worse, Eli or this guy, because in my opinion, it's a very, very tight matchup. He come to me, like, I'm talking about, I'm sitting on the table. I'm me. He come right here to my face and say, hey, man. He like, real low, y'all. Hey, man. He like, uh... I got a piece of metal that's missing, and if you find it for me, or if you know where it's at, I got a huge reward for you. I'm like, what? He like, yeah, he like, I, I, it's a piece of metal missing, and if you find it for me, or if you know where it's at, I got a huge reward for you. I'm like, man, I'm like, bro, I need to go to medical. He like, oh, okay, okay, well, think about it for me. He left, told me he was coming back, ain't never came back, y'all. <laughs> ain't never came back. I'm in that joint. Now, now I'm in that joint bucking, right? So the lady, she leaving at 6 o'clock in the morning so because her, her shift ended. So the, the new CO that's coming, you know what I'm saying, to do watch, he, he came to do count. So when he leaving out, I leave behind him and, and go into the, like, the solid port. So she get, she get mad at him. Remind this is a white dude, y'all. I allow you not. The man probably about five feet tall. I'm six five. He probably about five feet tall. So he like, she tell him, 
that make me go. So the frauditor just said he's six foot five. I'm going to need to see some receipts for that because being a frauditor, I know they have a tendency to exaggerate just a little bit. Go back into the day room so he could come out the uh out, out the side pool and he could so she could leave. So I'm like, nah, I'm like, man, look, bro. I say, like, you know, I ain't, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't disrespect you or nothing like that. I say, but I'm not leaving because I've been asking this B-I-T-C-H since 9.30 last night, can I go to medical? And I'm still sitting here. So he like, look, he like, man, I'm here for uh, 12 hours. He said, I'm going to make sure you get the medical. Just go in there and lock in for me. I'm like, no, I've been hearing that all night. You feel me? I said, the sergeant told me, the two COs. Uh, came in here and said something about me going to medical. I still ain't been to medical. I'm not doing nothing. So she mad, y'all. Because she trying to leave and go home. So I'm standing there for a good 30 minutes. So he can't leave out the uh, side port because if he leave out the side port, it's another door that will open up and I can leave out the unit, right? So he like, Come on, man, just please. Like, she like, she, like, she banging on the glass. Man, Cam, go lock in. Put him in there. I, I, I'm looking at her. I'm like, man. I say, man, because I'm mad. And now, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm in my jail mode. You feel me? So I'm acting like a, I'm acting like a jailer. I'm cutting her out. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, B, I ain't locking in nowhere. Woo do woo. I done told you I need to go to medical. So she mad, y'all. Like, she in that joint so mad, like, she ready to cry. You feel me? So I'm like, man, forget that. So he's like, man, please, please. He's like, look. He's like, buddy, I'm going to be in here all day for 12, 15 hours. He said, I will make sure you get the medical. So I'm like, all right. I ain't going to lie. I was, I was tired, y'all, because I told you I've been sitting there from 930 to 6 o'clock in the morning. So I went back in the cell, laid down for a little minute, right? I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you another thing, right? This guy is really taking forever to get to the punchline of his story. I'm going to have to fast forward his voice a little bit so we can hear the conclusion to this epic story about him going to medical. Like you know, in jail, the top, the, like the, the top poles will come out and and do their little rec time. Then they make the top lock in, and then the bottom come out and do their little rec time. Where everybody, the top and the bottom was out because they call it bipping the door, right? So they make you go in and lock in, right? They, they lock the door behind you, right? But everybody, I, I lie you not, if it was 20 sales, 18 of them drinks were bipped. They called it bipped. Where though, you can basically put something in the door and you can let yourself out the door. So even if they lock you in the door, you can come out and be on, on, and be on if you down bottom, you could be on the uh, top right time. If you up top, you could be on the bottom right time. So it was 40 people out. You know what I'm saying? Everybody supposed to be locked in. Everybody was out. You feel me? So I, I went in locked in. Laid down for like an hour, went to sleep, woke back up. It was the top rec time. I bit the door, came outside. Hey, bro, like, what's up? He like, oh, he like, I'm going to call him again. They were trying to BS me, right? So I finally get the medical. The nurse and the doctor asked me, she like, uh, well, how long are you supposed to be here with us? Because I don't see it in the system where, like, you have a release date or a court date. Remind you, I had a court date for February 2nd, but it was not in the court. I mean, it was not in the jail system. So I had to put a 118 form in for classification to tell classification. Matter of fact, I, I, got, I got a 118 form. I had a 118 form and I had a sick call. I'll, I'll show y'all what they do in jail. So she's like, yeah, like we don't see it in the system nowhere where you go to court or you got a uh, release date. So I'm like, nah, I got a court date for uh, February 2nd. Oh, here go the uh, 118 form. This right here is a 118 form, y'all. Let me turn around so y'all can see it. This is, a, this is a 118 form, right? So I had to put one in for classification. All that, right? Y'all put your, your inmate ID number in. My inmate ID number was 479968. So I had to use that to, to make these little, uh, these little forms and all that. So I had to write to classification and tell them, hey, I got a, a court date for February 2nd, but it's not in y'all system. So the classification lady, let me tell y'all how effed up Baltimore County Jail is, right? Now this lady that's in classification, a big, a, a, a big, I, I ain't even gonna do that. She's big as shit though. She's only probably about six feet, right? She ain't, she ain't doing nothing for, she only doing stuff for the people that she, she rocking with, you feel me? If she ain't rocking with you, she basically ain't messing with you. So now he's talking about the court date, but I didn't understand the part where he went to medical. So what finally happened? By this time, I'm so invested in this nonsense story, but it seems like we didn't get the conclusion to what the hell happened. This stuff makes your arms think even more, right? This is state soap. <laughs> I bought all this because I said, my man told me, I met, some, I met some good people in jail. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I met, some, I met some real good people. You know, people in Baltimore don't like people from PG County. But I met some good men in there, right? This is state, uh, 
It's a steak, steak toothpaste, right? Steak toothpaste. Steak soap. I had, I had my watch. I don't know what I did. But I probably left it in my bag when I left. But this is steak toothpaste, y'all. People was using these for uh, for for a shower drink because the, the water in there is shooting out a certain certain way. So people was in that joint using that for a shower head, right? But we got put on lockdown a couple more times, right? Last time we got put on lockdown is because about five or six people, <laughs> five or six people checked in. And what I, what I mean, they checked in, five or six people said they, they was, you know what I'm saying, they, they was in fear for their life that they didn't feel safe being on the unit and whatever, you feel me? I don't know what happened, you feel me? But it was five people, y'all, and less than 24 hours that checked in, you feel me? Now, I'm explaining to y'all. Yeah, they, they want to protect the custody. Listen, they got four phones in there, right? The first phone is the Muslim phone. I mean, the first phone is the uh, the civilian phone. The second phone is the Muslim phone. And the two last phones is the J phone. The J the J's are the, uh, it's, it's a gang out Baltimore. I think it's BGF, Black, Black Gorilla Family or something like that. You feel me? I'm using the, I'm using the, uh, the civilian phone and the Muslim phone. You feel me? Like, that's what I was chilling with in, in the jail. I was chilling with the Muslims. Not for no protection or nothing like that. I'm in there chilling with the Muslims because the big Muslim in that joint is my man from around my neighborhood where I grew up from. So when I get, when I get, when I first get on the unit, I'm looking at them. I'm like, hold on. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know how you, you know somebody, but you don't want to go up to them and be like, man, I know, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know you feel me. So I see them when I first come in the joint, like, man, this dude look real familiar. Dude was from my neighborhood around Whitfield Chopper Road. So he said he ended up saying something to me like two days later. He like, he seen me out there joint chilling or whatever, but he like, hey, he looked at me like, hey, he like, he like, you trying to use the phone? I'm like, nah, you know what I'm saying? Like it was after seven o'clock. I'm like, man, my girl at work, you know what I'm saying? My mother, I already talked to her. I'm like, I ain't, I ain't got to use it. So he's like, all right, bet. He's like, man, look, if you need to use the phone, use one or two, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, hey, he was upstairs. I, I walked upstairs. I'm like, man, let me holler at you real quick. He's like, I'm like, man, I said, you, I said, you be out PG? He like, yeah, he like, uh, that's where I'm from. I'm like, man, that's where I'm from. He said, I'm from Lanham. I said, so at this point, he completely changed topic. Now he's rambling about how he saw someone from the neighborhood. So we're going to have to speed him up some more and maybe do some other effects to make him make a little sense because right now I'm completely lost. Yeah. And this is my biggest issue. I don't know what y'all thought I was about to get life or something. Like I wasn't about to come back out here on the street. I like, guess they say, oh, we're gonna sit him down for a couple of months when he get back out. He ain't gonna want he ain't gonna want to record. Okay, so I think I can translate the last thing he said. He said that the cops put him in jail for a few months, and after a few months, he won't want to record when he comes out. But this is a frauditor. This is the only thing he knows how to do. So I give him maybe a couple weeks, maybe a couple months, he will be back in jail and he will have his baby mama raising his kid by herself, which is terrible. With that being said, thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one. I live here.